So this was completed, so we get 60 Primer Gems. Yeah. Jeff's Note. Uh, customers come from all corners of the world, bringing their varied tastes with them. Meeting each show of their needs is the first step to becoming a great chef. True. So this was... Uh, <laughs> Lini, Lynette, and Fermine. Okay. I wonder who we'll see next. <laughs> so far. And uh, yeah. I'm enjoying my time as well. <laughs> Osmanthus wine tastes Talk to the him same again. as I remember. What do you have to say this time? Morning. The boss tells me that both new and returning customers have nothing but good things to say about you. That's nice. That's a great compliment. I have to admit, I was a little worried about throwing you right into the deep end. But it looks like you've got what it takes to handle the day-to-day -day here. What can I say? We're pros. I mean, I'm a pro. I'm on is... Emotional support. So it should be plain sailing. Well, just as long as we don't run into any extremely picky customers with unreasonably specific requests. <laughs> Did I see it right? Did I see it right? Was that the one and only, the one and only, Arozan? <laughs> what is she even doing here? What, what is she here for? I mean, sure, Summer is not far off. <laughs> okay. Well, you might encounter one today. Of course. The worst are those old scholars who have barely cooked a day in their life, but think reading a stack of books on the topic makes them the expert. Um, old scholars, you say? Well, um, uh, Armstrong has been trapped a hundred years, and, uh, now that she's come back, <laughs> might be, uh, considered one of these old scholars, which is why everyone, um, in Simru's, uh, well, asked, I mean, speaks with her, with the courtesy of, courtesy of saying, Madam, Madam Farzan. They criticize you for no reason, claiming your cooking method isn't faithful to the original, or that the flavor profile isn't authentic because you used an ingredient that wasn't in their beloved centuries-old version of the recipe. This is Wang Shuin. Hmm. It does have the look and feel of a time-honored establishment. Well, um, nice to see you, Farzan. I mean, all right, Madam Farzan. I know that voice. Oh, innkeeper, we'll have each of your signature dishes, please, as fast as you can serve them. The most expensive ones. Did she, did she wink at me, or did she break the fourth wall? Because <laughs> I don't know. But she's saying, "Yeah, I know I'm back." <laughs> Oops. 
Yeah. Uh, hey. Madam Barzan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This event is amazing. This event is so amazing already. Oh my. Traveler, Paimon. Whatever are you doing here? I mean, I should ask you the same question, to be honest. We could ask you the same thing! Where'd you suddenly get the funds to go sightseeing? And to order the most expensive things on the menu? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here to sightsee. Exemplary scholars like myself are highly sought after by cruise operators in need of an onboard consultant as they travel the world. No. Don't tell me. <laughs> Don't tell me. Okay. Um, I might have seen Layla's lights. And the, the other one? Was that Dory? Hey, guys. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, it does. Madam Farzan, please. Oh, slow down. Oh, none of us slept last night. <laughs> How come Madam Farzan still has so much energy? Ah. Oh. If she's really over a hundred years old, I don't understand how she keeps going. Oh, you good. Oh. Goodness me. <laughs> it is so nice and so refreshing to, to see characters. That you haven't seen uh, in so long. Make a comeback. And in the most unexpected way possible. I. Yeah, I'm. I'm I'm. Yeah, I'm truly flabbergasted, guys. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Let me, let me turn this one here. Oh my god. So, um... Ayla, Dory, and Farzan. You have it, folks. And this is, uh... This is one of the greatest combo ever. <laughs> So what was she saying again? Madame Farzan, please slow down. Yeah. And the best slept last night. How come Madame Farzan still has so much energy? If she's really over a hundred years old, I don't understand how she keeps going. Well, she's Madame Farzan after all. It's all my fault. She's been like this ever since I told her I'd be paying the expenses. <laughs> Dory. Uh, Lord Sangam of Bay. You're in the flesh. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I'm in awe. I'm definitely in awe right now. I... Yeah, well. <laughs> Layla! And... Dory? Huh. Never would have bet on this combination. Yeah. You would, never, you would never bet on this combination, but it's an amazing combo, nonetheless, so... 
Why don't you all take a seat and catch your breath? Invite the free to sit and explain that you're helping out Temporary at Wong Shu In. Huh? Wow, no rest for the wicked. No rest for the wicked. Well, if the chef here is trusting you to run his whole kitchen, then I've got no doubt we're in for some authentic Leo S specialties. Consulting? Mm -hmm. I got my hands on a new boat from Fontaine a while ago, equipped with cutting-edge navigation technology. If we manage to spread the word, it could have huge business potential. Ah, <sighs> Dory. Always, <laughs> always looking for a, a sweet, sweet business trade or business potential. That should give, uh, that should, uh, reward her with lots and lots of more. And she might be in luck. Liyue is, after all, the place where Mora was, well, created. Right now, we're doing some test runs. We sailed from Port Ormos to Rito, then from Rito to Liyue Harbor. Next, we're planning to go to Dornman Port. Wait, let me see. Right now we're doing some test runs. We sailed from Port almost to Rito, and from Rito to Leeway Harbor. Next, we're planning to go to Dolman Port. Oh, Madam okay. Farazan and me were hired to fine tune the compass and other equipment. We sailed around the Sea of Clouds all of last night to put the system through some stress testing. Uh, that sounds like illegal overtime. <laughs> uh, overtime for which they'll both be fairly compensated. They're both here willingly. The contract is crystal clear. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, Leeway. Leeway is the land of contracts, after all. Sorry, uh, do you know Yanfei? He's a legal expert here in Leeway. If she happens to see that the contract is not up to par and that uh, the, benef the beneficiaries being Leila and Farazan do not have, are not fairly compensated, then uh, I'm sorry, but sometimes one shall suffer the wrath of the rock. Don't you? Let Paimon guess. Paying the expenses is part of the compensation, isn't it? No wonder Madame Farozan is going for all the most expensive dishes. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's not every day someone tells you to order whatever you like. Now, first up, we'll have the. <clears throat> Farazan, uh, Madam Farazan, that is, while I am more than happy to treat you both to the most expensive dishes on the menu, we must remember that most expensive does not always mean best. He's <laughs> trying to save up money by telling them that. <laughs> The most expensive that doesn't mean necessarily necessarily the best. Right, the ploy. I've heard that the most expensive dishes in Liyue are usually either seafood based or take an exceptionally long time to prepare. <sighs> Lord Syndrome Bay. Whatever shall we do with you? I don't know about you two, but after so many days at sea, I don't think I can so much as look at another piece of seafood again for at least the foreseeable future. <laughs> huh. That's actually a good point. Not 
to mention that poor Layla here looks like she's about to faint from hunger. Faint from hunger, you say? No, I mean, she's just usually sleepy, so when she has the time to doze off, does it? Yeah, that's not what I said. Of hunger. Surely the wise and virtuous Madame Farazan could not bear to watch her poor students sit here and waste away. <laughs> oh, well, of course I care about my students' well being, but why do I feel like I'm being tricked? Why do you feel you're, like you're being tricked? Uh, because you're being tricked. <laughs> There's no in between with Dory. So, let's not order anything that'll take too long to prepare. Aside from that and seafood, we'll take whatever other expensive dishes you have. Over to you, traveler. Right from that, so not too long to prepare, and not seafood related. But it has to be. It, it, it should be any other expensive dishes that uh, we could have. Well, uh, what about meat related? Yeah, maybe we should discuss that with. Uh, Yanzhou. <clears throat> Let's uh, listen to what they say. No seafood and nothing that takes too long to cook. The rest is up to you. <laughs> hmm. I had my eye on a duck to temptation. Bamboo shoot soup and golden shrimp balls. But I suppose they'll have to wait for the next time. <sighs> but that could be years from now. Yeah, but, um, Deptis Temptation is a nice choice, but I think it might be too long to prepare. That was bamboo shoot soup. Bamboo shoot soup. Yeah, it should not be quite bad. And golden shrimp balls, obviously. It's a staple. Oh, uh, yeah, I have a think you'll have to chat to... to... Choose wisely. Oh, Madame Farazan looks so deflated all of a sudden. Um, please still try to choose dishes on the expensive side, okay? Yeah, I mean, I'll try. No promises. But what the client client wants, the client gets. Hey, Yan Zhao, we have another order coming up. Are you ready? So, expensive, but no seafood, and nothing that takes too long to cook. That rules out pretty much our entire menu. <sighs> Do these people get a kick out of being impossible to please? Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, that Dory! Is she doing this on purpose? I bet Mora that she is, but you shouldn't bet Mora because you don't know. But with Dory being so close, when she hears this word specifically, Mora, well, uh, might be in for a field day. This isn't Leoli Pavilion or Xinyua Kiosk. This is Wangshu Inn. We don't stock up on rare and exotic ingredients. We only get them in if someone puts in a special reservation. Well, if we're stuck with regular ingredients and we're on a time limit, there's only one way to bump up the price. And that's by cooking a dish that uses the chef's expertise mm. and creativity to the fullest. What do you have in mind? As it happens, I know a recipe for something called trembling strings and rushing weeds. It can be whipped up quickly with what we already have in the kitchen. 
One plate usually goes for a 30,000 mora. Thirty thousand more. Rambling strings and rushing reeds. Yeah, that's not too bad. I think um, I think we can definitely do that. Thirty thousand. But if it's quick to make and isn't fancy, what exactly makes it so special? Quick doesn't have to mean quick and easy. To perfect this dish. You need expert knife work and very precise control over the heat. I see. So, like you said, expertise and creativity. Boost it to the max. You have to finely slice several different types of meat into fine threads, knead them together into strips, then gently stir fry them in the pan. What you end up with is a whole variety of flavors that come through layer by layer. Hmm. Okay. This dish is unique in offering a harmonious blend of multiple kinds of meat, all cooked to perfection, while still bursting with their own distinct flavors. Interesting. Do it right, and you've got a culinary masterpiece in your hands. But if you botch it, it's just a bunch of meat thrown on a plate. Oh, Hyman gets it now! So this dish gets its value not from the ingredients, but the chef's expertise! Well, um, that's great, but you think I'll be able to pull it off? Now, don't worry. I can take care of the kneading and other prep work for you. You just focus on bringing it all together. Okay, well, that makes it fairly more, I mean, fairly easier. Believe in yourself. You can do this. And if you mess it up, I'm almost to be happy to eat it. <laughs> what it's worth. Thank you, Paimon. Alright, well, um... Legend has end. it that a master chef once made this dish from five different kinds of meat. It speaks to my lack of skill that I can only handle three. So, uh, there was a master chef that could do this dish, but with five different meat. But Yan Zhao here can only do it with three kinds of meat. What if I can do it with five? I mean, not that far of a stretch. Alright, well, uh, here we go. Alright, so here's my, uh, this is my another note. Wait. Let's see uh, what that reads. <clears throat> okay. Well, <clears throat> let me see. Trembling strings and uh, rushing reed. Required ingredient. What is this? That sausage? I don't know. Oh. Uh. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, so we have raw meat, uh, fowl, uh, pepper, and salt. Let's see. So, in the dish description, it says. A stir-fried dish made from a variety of meats that has layers, even entire flow. Uh, wait, what? Even entire floors of flavor. All right, yeah. Simple ingredients, unique creativity, 
in an intertwitching process made this an unparalleled delicacy fit for any gourmet seeking the very finest of flavors right they say in leeway that lutes have five strings and flutes have seven of the apertures and that this dish is correspondingly made with five meats and seven side dishes that said <clears throat> that said it is doubtful that any chefs could make a dish as complicated as the story claim ah. okay um with uh, that uh, being uh, actually done well um I think um, it's time to try and serve them up. What do you think? Let's go. Alright. First part. Uh, the prepping. Oh, so it was ham. We prepped the ham, raw meat, and fowl. Okay. Well, let's start. Two, five, okay. One, two, three, four, five. The foul. Let's go. One, two, three. These were all greatly and thinly shredded. Mixing pepper and season the meat. Do this. Ouch. No. <laughs> How could I have missed the last one? Uh, okay, it's fine. It's fine nonetheless. I love the sequence of events that happen with this specific event. Great. Uh, add the ingredients and cook trembling strings and rushing green. Press at the right moment. And there we go. The survey is complete. Hmm. I mean, they're going to keep a specific plate here, obviously, which is uh, what it shows. Even though they they uh, ask us to um, to <laughs> which, uh, to maybe swap elements, but change a lot anyway let's finish plating that's it food's ready please enjoy we go Ooh, smells delightful I'll say we meant to ask, have you two eaten breakfast yet? If not, why don't you join us at the table? Yeah, but, um, depends. Does that, will that cost us any more, Dory? Uh, did Dory just offer us a free yeah. meal? Why did she become so generous? I know, right? <laughs> Let's not forget that the biggest business deals are always settled over a meal. Come on, come on, come on, sit down and join us. Everyone, dig in. <laughs> I mean, uh, you insist. This dish looks simple enough, and I did my research, so surely it can't cost all that much. Worst case scenario, maybe... 10,000 Mora? 10,000? <laughs> eh, well, um, I don't know. 10,000. Bit of a stretch, don't you think? 
This dish had better be worth working overtime all night for. Well, Traveler, this is the moment of truth. Eh, prepare to be surprised. Oh, so tired. So sleepy. I just want to eat up and oh, get to bed. It's fine. Maybe uh, this uh, dish will invigorate you so much that you don't you would not even go to sleep after that. Maybe you will. I don't know. Everyone begins to eat chobbing their preconceived Bowel? thoughts. Oh, wait. No, the texture is more like shroom boar. Shroom boar. There's a different flavor in every bite. And the discerning palate might detect a hint of something smoked, too. Quite marvelous. How is this made? Well, if you want to know, uh, the smokiness is from the ham. That was my... my <laughs> it's so funny. The smokiness is from the ham. That, my addition. Wink, wink. Ham? But I don't see any ham anywhere. Oh. Ah, so now you see. Now you detect it. <laughs> different cooking times uh, uh how is everything in this dish cooked to perfection um well there's only one answer for that skill nothing else skill and possibly a bit of luck What's that face? You see, eh, uh, that's a trade secret. Oh my god. I mean, I know some special tricking techniques. Wow. So this dish really is one of a kind. That makes the whole trip worth it. By the way, does this special dish have a name? Yes, it does. It does. Uh, trembling something something. <laughs> ah, Paimon forgot to mention that part. The dish is called Trembling Strings and Rushing Reeds. Alluding to the way that the different threads of yep. meat are woven together. And also... The complex layers of flavor, yes? Akin to the harmonies of a musical ensemble. Yeah. Really? The name, if I'm not mistaken, is a Leo idiom that evokes a vigorous orchestral performance featuring both stringed and wind instruments playing together. Mm, quite an apt name for this dish. It does. Uh, how did you know all that? You know what? You know why? Because she's Madame Farzan. He's well versed. You know what? Why? Why don't we have a uh, uh, cultural competition between Jean Lee and Madame Farzan? Let's see who knows the uh, the well. I mean, most things related to the, the continent of Tibet. Every student has to master at least twenty languages before they graduate. Wait, is that not a requirement anymore? Twenty languages before they graduate. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's the, if it's this uh, this is a requirement anymore. But uh, huh? oh, yeah, that used to be a thing. Apparently. Oh, Hyman almost forgot that you're 
cows are from her habitat. <laughs> yeah. Both Ravatot students. Constellations. So, um, anyway, how much does this dish cost? We wanted to know how much does this dish cost, right? <laughs> Look at the traveler. He says, he will say, um, well, what did you think? You think it was, going, it was not going to cost too much? <laughs> you thought. You thought. <sighs> it will be 30,000 more. I hope you have the money. Oh, don't worry, not too much. That'll be uh, 30,000 more, please and thank you. <laughs> I want space. <laughs> oh, don't worry, not too much. I'll be um thirty thousand more, please and thank you. Thirty thousand. <sighs> yep. Yeah, thirty thousand. Yeah. Uh, about that, Paimon Traveler. I merely invited you to join us at the table, did I not? I don't believe I committed to paying for you. So, oh, now. Perhaps oh, now you split up the bill, huh? I knew there was something up. I knew. True. Of course, it was too, too good to be true. Why did you expect? That's Dory you were talking about. Thirty thousand more surely isn't an outrageous amount for the most magnanimous Lord Sandrum Bay, right? <laughs> Merchant, you've got a reputation to uphold. <laughs> I think she she will keep from uh saying anything for others for a long time. I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure of it. But every single mora matters, you know. Yeah, every single mora. But how much mora do you have on you? Really? Alright, alright. I'll just consider that the cost of learning about this dish. Once I'm back in Sumeru, I'll be sure to find someone to help me recreate the dish. And then, and then, I'll make it all back. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, wait. So, you want to recreate the dish when you're back in Sumeru? So that you'll compensate the loss of 30,000 Mora. But, um, is there anyone in Sumeru? I mean, I'm, sh I'm sure there is. Uh, is there any people in Sumeru that will uh, cook this dish the perfection that we did? Oh, maybe there are, but uh, if, if you are far between. Uh, so where are they now? Orozan is there. Dory is over here. And Layla is here. Alright, Layla. What did you think? It was, was that pleasing to you? Oh, I feel so much better now that I've gotten some food in me. Delicious food really does wonders for one's spirits. I, I never thought you'd take on such strenuous work, Hila. Uh, 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 my advisor said that young people shouldn't stay cooped up in the academia all the time. 
they told me that I should take the chance to get out and see the stars in other skies. Yeah. Expand your hor your horizons. Huh. Uh, maybe I can think of it as my first internship experience. Oh, but it sure is exhausting. Oh. Oh, well. It's always exhausting when you're going on an adventure. And ship experience. Yeah, you could say that. Hey, Dory. How's that uh, 30,000 more coming up? Uh, you were able to uh, pay up, cooperate. Now, how should I justify a high price tag for a dish without any fancy ingredients? Huh. Maybe start by giving it a fancy sounding name? A fancy sounding name. Uh, by the way, um, Dory. Or Lord Sandrima Bay. Uh, just to be clear. By the way, uh, that whole spiel, spiel about no seafood and not taking too long to cook. Be honest. You chose one shoe in to try and save money, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> uh, I should have known you'd see through me. Yeah, you should. You should have. And seasick when I made the offer last night, so I figured they probably wouldn't be able to eat all that much today. Well, you saw how that turned out. Yeah, I saw. Um, hey, was your own fault, I suppose. I tried placing some limitations on the order to keep costs under control, but you still found a way around my schemes. <sighs> That's what I get for not thoroughly researching the market beforehand. What'd you get? Hey, you're not even paying those too much of a salary. Just treat them fairly next time and don't be so stingy. Well, <laughs> I'm on. I'm on. You'll want to touch. You freeload whenever you get the chance. <laughs> at least at least she accepts she accepts that all right well time to talk to madam Ozon. even though i didn't get to try adeptus temptation or bamboo shoot soup this trembling strings and rushing reeds was still quite impressive Thank you for making it. No problemo. I never, th I never thought you'd take your job away from any ruins, though. Well, about that. Even though newfangled contraptions are hardly my cup of tea, Dory's offer was quite enticing. I see. She said that every time we stopped at a new harbor, I'd be free to go and pick out some ancient books at the market and bring them back to Sumeru. Well, and did you uh, get some ancient books at the market? <laughs> I couldn't resist an offer like that. So I offered to join for the lowest possible pay to undercut all my Kasharawar competitors. The cut oh my the Sharawar <laughs> the Sharawar competitors. Alright. Wait. So this is the, the example on the first day with Fermine, Annette and uh, Lenny. Alright, well,
the event details. You see the characters. <laughs> uh, we were friends from afar. Chef's note. Chef's note. After a day's hard work, you and Paimon are now able to deal with the daily kitchen grind. That is, unless some truly itchy customers come calling. So, it seems that I'll only be able to do this one afterwards. But, uh, hey, not quite bad. I think I'll uh, do this afterwards. 